Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to talk about this GitHub repo I found that's been trending on GitHub. It has over 10,000 stars. And basically it's called MetaGPT. And it's a multi-agent framework. And basically what you can think of it as is it's basically a software company in a box. What they did is they took the different roles of a software company like product manager, project manager, project manager, software architect, software engineer, and they used GPT-4 to basically build agents for each different persona in a software company and run them at the same time. And so that's what this repo is. It's really interesting. It does some cool stuff that I have not seen before. And check it out. I'm going to show you how to install it, how to run it, and some of the cool features that it has. So there's two ways to install it. First, go to the GitHub and you'll find the instructions on here. You can either clone the repo or you can use Docker. I've gone ahead and cloned the repo and you first need to install the dependencies. And it has the instructions on here. You just run this command python setup.py install. And then after that, after everything's run, you also need to add in your GPT-4 API key. And you can do that in the config.yaml and just put your key in here. You can also use Anthropic if you'd like, and you can additionally set, if you want to enable web scraping, you can put your API key for SERP API or your Google API key. So once we've added the API keys, we can run the project. And to do that, let's just actually take the example that they have and just edit it. So they have the instructions on how to run it. So let's do this. Let's copy this put it in here, and instead of write a CLI snake game, write a web scraping application. And let's just give it this and run it. Okay, if you see green, that means it's working properly. And it's basically running the different personas. So first we get the product manager persona. It's basically, it's giving us the product goals, develop a user-friendly web scraping application. It's also coming up with user stories of how the user is going to use the web scraping application. Coming up with a competitive analysis, which is basically talking about the different web scraping, Python, it looks like dependencies that are online that people can use. Now it's coming up with a competitive quadrant chart. And what I love about this is underneath the hood, it uses a third party dependency called Mermaid.js to actually make these charts visible. And I'll show you once the project is done, what those charts look like. And again, it uses mermaid.js for all of these charts. It's coming up with project requirements and analysis. It's giving us a UI design draft. And I believe all the code that it's gonna end up running is in Python. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's giving us the list of files. It's giving us like how the files should interact with each other. Yeah, so this is really cool. So let's just give it a bit of time to run. Okay. Looks like maybe it's having some issues, but it's still running. I'm going to fast forward until it's done writing all the code and walk you through the code that it wrote as well as the other files that it produced. All right, guys, it finished running and it took quite a bit of time. So one thing to keep in mind is it's gonna charge between 40 cents to $2 per run because it's all using GPT-4. So it can get kind of expensive, but it's done running. Let me show you the code that it wrote. The code that it wrote and all the associated documents are gonna be in workspace. And annoyingly, it creates two documents both with the same title, which is kind of annoying. I would love for them to change that and I'm sure that they will at some point. So one of these folders is gonna have the code, which is this. And the other folder is gonna have all the associated project requirements, the user stories, the diagrams and everything. So I think the coolest part is actually the diagrams because I have not seen anybody do this before. So let me show you that. So the diagrams are all gonna be in resources and let's look into this. It's written using this sort of markdown that creates these charts. And I have this extension called Preview Mermaid in VS Code. That's kind of what you're gonna wanna check out. So let's see if they did this correctly. So this has a bug in it, which is not going to render correctly, which sometimes happens, but this one rendered correctly, which is really cool. It shows you the diagram, sort of how it works. So it has a scheduler, it has a data cleaner. 
So this is actually really cool. Okay, wow, and it's showing you the steps, or it's showing you the different files and their roles. So let's go ahead and look at the files that are wrote as well. So there's like a main, there's a scraper, there's a schedule, there's a data cleaner. It's just sort of talking about how all the different files interact. So let's go to main.py and make sure it looks okay. Okay, entry point of web scraping application. So this all looks relatively good. I think if you ran this though, and I've done a couple of examples before this, the code ends up having some issues, mostly because of the Python third-party dependencies. Like remember GPT-4, it's cut off date for training data is from 2021. And obviously like that's over two years ago. So the Python libraries change. And so you're gonna have, you're gonna run into some errors if you just like install the dependencies as is that it's it's importing and run it just because like a lot of these things end up being out of date. So you'll have to do some code cleanup basically. But this looks reasonably good. So yeah, I mean, it's amazing that it can come up with all this stuff like a scheduler, a data cleaner, an actual scraper. So yeah, that's basically what this project does at the moment. It writes code for you and it comes up with product requirements, diagrams, competitive analysis, all of that stuff, which is what a software company kind of would do. So it's really cool with one project, you can do all of that stuff. And to go a little bit into detail about the code, we ran the startup.py file, which is basically importing these different personas, architect, engineer, product manager, project manager, and all of these can be found within the roles of meta GPT, so that's in here, and that's here. So if you want to edit these roles, you can do so by just like clicking into them and ed editing them. This is kind of like the code that's running underneath the hood. It's in Meta GPT. And they've got a very ambitious roadmap. If you're interested in this project, I would encourage you to check it out. They seem to be iterating really quickly. I believe it's a docs and then roadmap. They also have Chinese and Japanese if you're if you're interested in that. And so looks like they're trying to do a bunch of different things and add to this to make it more robust. Yeah, it's really exciting stuff where this goes. It definitely shows you the future of what a software company might do just to get the ball rolling. So with user stories and competitive analysis and the preliminary code. So yeah, let me know what you think. Hopefully this was useful to you. So let me know if you also have any questions in the comments. So thanks so much. Bye.